girlfriend, Jim here with JB's Big Adventure coming to you from Lake Chapala, Mexico. And on this video, I'm going to talk to you about an experience that we recently had with Amazon that I think is really, really important for you to know about, especially if you are going to be moving here to Lake Chapala, Mexico and are looking at getting packages sent to you. If you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I know you want to be a part of it. It's simple, fast, and it's easy. On the bottom right-hand corner of the video, there is a red box. Tap on that, and you are subscribed. Also, give us a thumbs up. That lets YouTube be able to use the analytics. There were more and more people that are looking at Lake Chapala to move to or come visit are able to get these videos. So, on to our uh, Amazon experience. So I had ordered, Barbara and I had actually ordered a cell phone and it turned out that uh, we ordered it and we tracked it from Albuquerque to uh, the California border and then into Mexico City. And it turned out that that was about two months ago when we still haven't seen the phone. And I had some important things that I was needing to get uh, medications and such from Albuquerque and we have a UPS store there and it turned out that that's where these items were at. So we made a decision to go up to uh, take a plane flight over to Tijuana and then go across the border and stay a couple of nights in San Diego. So what we did was we ordered some items. I ordered some items on Amazon US to have them delivered to where the motel was gonna be in San Diego. There was a UPS store right close by. So I ordered these items and it said if I ordered it within, I'm just gonna use an example of three and a half hours, that it would actually get there on uh, March the 3rd. And so what we did was I ordered these items, uh, I got the confirmation that they were there, they arrived on March the 3rd, our plane flight actually got in on the 4th. That was a Friday afternoon. The very first thing that we did is we went right over to the UPS store. Now, here's what was really interesting. On our ride over to the UPS store from the basically the border, the CBX at the border of Mexico and U.S., our, our driver actually had mentioned to us that sometimes he drives part-time for Amazon. And what he does, he goes somewhere and picks up boxes and then goes and delivers these boxes and does that for Amazon and can make good money, $150, $200 in a day's time, we understand. And so didn't even think about it. Uh, we got to the UPS store. Barbara went inside to check on our things to pick up our packages. And it turned out that they weren't there. It turned out that the items that I ordered from Amazon, in fact, were not in San Diego. They were not at that UPS store. So being the fourth and being we were coming back at the beginning of the, the following week, I right away made a phone call to Amazon to find out, in fact, how could these items not be there? The UPS store, the ownership there said that they did not receive anything but yet Amazon showed that it did. So in contacting Amazon to find out what was going uh, with that, end up finding out that yes, they do, they get these, uh, these drivers, um, basically they're contracted out, or I should say a 1099, so kind of like driving Uber or Lyft. And what they do is they, when they drop a package off, that package is not scanned. They drop it off and they're basically saying that the package was dropped off. So here's what we know. Either somebody in the UPS store got the boxes because there was a few boxes or the person that was actually delivering it through Amazon did not get it delivered and end up keeping the box. Now, we've heard stories of folks that actually order things from the States and they never get it here in Mexico because it comes to the border and in customs, if they see something they wanna keep, they keep it. And I don't think there's any kind of repercussion about that from what I hear in regards to the number of individuals that have tried doing that and have not received their package. In fact, there's a local business that's called iShop and they actually have a thing where it says that if you're sending a package and if you don't insure it, 
they don't guarantee it getting past the border, which I thought was really interesting, especially if you're using their address in the States for them to bring a package down here to Mexico. So although we were going the opposite way, it was actually being delivered uh, in from Amazon in the States to San Diego. So I actually called Amazon and it wasn't an easy task to get them to be willing to actually reorder everything. I should say resend everything out to us so we could make it before we had our flight coming back to Lake Chapala. Well, that all got taken care of. We end up getting the items. It literally was like a last minute thing of us receiving them. And I really felt it was something important to share with you and let you know about. And here's why. Even if you're in the States, and because they had no idea, those that we ordered the packages from had no idea where we were coming from. So this was something that actually was in the States where the Amazon boxes never got there. That's important, really important for you to know. Um, it would just be a heads up that if you're ordering something, you want to make sure that you can track it and not just track it, but make sure that when it's delivered, it is delivered. And maybe you can learn from our experience because when we in fact had them re-delivering it, uh, I was really on top of everything, making sure. In fact, the moment that I actually showed it had been delivered, which actually was on a Sunday and this UPS store wasn't even open on Sunday. So then again, too, I thought, well, something's not right here. If they're not open, that package can't be delivered. And it just so happens that one of the owners was actually there. And I guess somebody came to deliver something, knocked on the window or something, and they and they got the package. So that was all great. So we got the packages. It's a lesson learned. And um, there was an expense in it enough that I had to make sure that I got the packages on time. So I hope that's been helpful for you, just our experience being able to learn from that. If you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's real simple, easy, and fast. Square box in the bottom right-hand corner, you can tap on that and you're subscribed to our channel. On top of that, you can give us a thumbs up. That lets people know that you liked the video, they found some value, and that value could be yours also. Also, you can comment if you'd like to ask a question or maybe have an idea of an upcoming video. We'd love to communicate with you. That's a great way to do it. And also, we've got to go ahead and hit the bell. What the bell does is immediately notifies you when a new video has actually come out and you don't want to miss any of our new videos. So with that, as always, thank you so much for being a part of this video and this channel. We appreciate you. Have an awesome day. We'll see you on the next video.